Hey guys, Corey on WF here, don't you know? And today we've got a Professor Evil challenge. It's an expert challenge, and we have to survive until round 28. And the rewards are 1,000 medallions. Looks like it's standard assault mode. And our loadout, we've got the sub, farm, and the ice tower. So. We're going to jump on in here, but guys, if you do find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I do have a goal of 20 likes on this video, and you already know, just one new subscriber, I mean, that could be you. So, let's go ahead and jump on in here and see what we can do. Alright guys, so first off, we're going to be starting with our three tacks in the back right away, and we are going to go for our one zero farm. Now, I do end up using farmers in this challenge. Obviously, if you're going for medallions, you shouldn't use farmers because if you use three farmers, you're using 600 medallions and you're not winning a lot, but I do it for sake of this tutorial, so... We get the one zero. He is gonna be eco choking us a lot, but so we have to be mindful of that. So farmers would actually be bad. So on eco choke, I can't collect those bananas. Now I can collect it once the screen stops turning that bluish haze color. Then we can in fact get our bananas because if you collect it while well, there's an eco choke, you're not gonna get any of that money. So very, very important there. I'm going to go for a plantation, so you may want to upgrade, you know, for the airburst darts, but avoid the temptation. Farming is important here. You need to be able to farm well, because we are going to have to afford a first strike capability. So, we've got that. Now we can save up for the airburst darts. Got the eco choke, don't collect. Blue haze is away, now you can collect. So, we're gonna get this ice right about here at the edge because when I upgrade it twice to the left, you'll see how it covers that an entire corner there, which is perfect. And I want the 2-2, two, two. the 2-2 two, two ice. And there were times, because this isn't my first time trying this challenge where I boosted here, I would encourage you to only boost later in the game when I show you. Don't boost here. Also, there's no upgrades necessary. So you will have a few leaks here, but for the most part, you will be okay. It's important to farm on. We have to farm on. We're at 140 lives. And look what we end up being at once we're done here. So... We're farming on 140 lives. What, we leaked down 10 lives? It looked scary, but it's not necessary to upgrade. So I'm now going to go for my farmers just to make it easier for me. Medallions isn't a big thing for me at 40 million, but if it is a big thing for you, don't use the farmers because you're going to end up losing money, especially if you have to try it more than one time. So... We are getting down. We want to get down a 3-1 sub. Once we have the plantation and the 1-0, we've got a 3-1 sub. On round 11, we're going to click left and submerge it so we can get rid of camos. And that 3-1, the one upgrade on the right, we'll make sure these are all decamoed here to camo it fast. So now we get down another 1-1 one, one sub. And we are, in fact, going to use our first boost here round 12 our range boost. We're farming on. And I wanna make sure I have three plantations before I start getting more subs. He is gonna rush us with a Moab. So, and I believe it's an empowered Moab as well. So very strong. 
we are going to need to make sure we have subs up accordingly. So now that we have our three plantations, we're going to go for our sub. And I'm going to try to go for the one, two here. Gonna get down another sub, trying to go for the one, two. We will end up using another boost here momentarily. I'm gonna get down another sub just for safety. And we're gonna go ahead and range boost. Four minutes, 45 seconds, we range boost. And I get up another one, two, and we just shred here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sell one of these subs and we're gonna sell two subs and we're gonna go for the republic and you want to make sure you have minimum two republics in a plantation if not three republics it's very important so as you can see my top sub does have the ballistic missile really really powerful really strong it'll allow me to sell my ice tower By selling that ice tower, I'm able to go for another Republic. The ballistic missile can break down those leads. We'll get down another sub down here, another one, two for support. I'm also gonna wanna place my ice right about here. Remember at that edge again, so when I upgrade it, it'll cover the whole ring. And I'm gonna get another ice right next to that. This one will end up being our ice shards right here and the left one will be the arctic wind viral frost so i am coming up on the 3200 to get three republics which you can do i do know some do not do that because you're going to end up selling it soon anyway but you do make an entire round of money so it's important in my opinion if you have the money, go for it. You can win this challenge without the three republics. I just find that this is the best way. So if you have $5,000 saved up in three republics, you can afford the first strike. See, we got the three one there, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait just a few seconds before I start selling. So we get a few extra bananas, sell, sell. We're very close here. We're going to afford the first strike. As soon as we afford the first strike, we're going to go ahead and first strike and sell immediately and go for the viral frost. The 4-2 on the right side, we're going to go 2-3 and we are going to boost this. You can play that over again slow if you have to, but basically right there I got my uh, first strike ability. And I believe it's important that all of those empowered uh, BFBs are on top of it when I hit the first strike. I've done it before where I did the first strike over on the left side by my farmer and it only destroyed like two or three of the BFBs. Whereas when the first strike is on top of it, it destroyed all of them. It's the strangest thing for sure. So make sure when you use the first strike ability, all of those BFBs are over top of the sub. I'm going to keep that for camo detection because I believe there may be camo coming. But at this point right now, I'm going to be going for more subs. So the Arctic wind in the back and the ice shards should take care of all the balloons. But remember, this is going till round 28. So that is something to consider there. So round 27 has a lot of Moabs and round 25 is pretty intense usually for ai as well but like i said with that arctic wind and the ice shards in the back it's absolutely going to destroy so as you can see i'm slowly upgrading my subs to a one three sub that's my goal and i want at least two one three subs by round 27 
and I'm gonna want both those subs set to strong. And while they're set to strong, it's gonna have the capability of hitting the Moab class balloons versus the other balloons. So there is some micro involved with this. So if you cannot beat this Professor Evil, do not be discouraged. Don't be, don't be discouraged. There's other Professor Evils that come out. It's a lot of fun. You know, Friday challenges are a lot of fun. Most people can beat it, but if for some reason you can't, lots of great YouTubers do this. So, you know what I mean? We've got Zigzag Power, Zydaster YT, Rainer Gaming, Aidens, Kevin Gaming 64, so many, Lisa Team, a lot of people. If I'm forgetting you, I apologize, but a lot of good YouTubers do this. So, but see how we've got those two subs on strong? It's hitting the Moab class balloons, and as long as you can break those Moab class balloons, you're going to be in good shape there. Because once they're down into anything smaller than a Moab, that Ice Shards and Viral Frost beat it. Give Professor Evil a thumbs up. Good challenge, friend, but you have, in fact, won. So, guys, Corey NWF, don't you know, it's been a pleasure. Make sure to like and subscribe and catch all of our daily contents and all the Professor Evils. Thanks again for watching. Bye.